What's up, Internet Land? It's Dave. And Duncan. From GI Tactical Texas here in the Plano walk in store for Airsoft GI. And we are going to start a new series of videos here doing questions and answers from the Internet. Duncan, did you know that we can go on the Internet and we can find out what Airsofters are wanting to talk about and like get questions and answers to? No. Yeah, the Internet's a scary place. Like, don't. It's, it's dangerous. Don't. Your small people will attack you. But they've got some cool questions. So I pulled together a bunch of questions about pistols and we're going to see what everybody thinks. So to start with Duncan, our first task is to answer this question. What is the best airsoft pistol under 120 bucks? Go. This is my favorite pistol guys. Uh, it's going to be the elite force 1911. They're really awesome. They're made of full metal and they kick really hard and they're really good for cold environments. And I like playing during the winter. So uh, that's really my favorite pick. They're about a hundred dollars. Uh, after tax, it's 108. What's your favorite pistol, Dave? So my pick would be the Elite Force Walther PPQ by VFC. Normally, uh, I would be showing you the black one. We just happened to sell our last one, so we have the tan one. Uh, the tan one is $120. The black one is only 100 bucks, And I like it because I'm a humongous fan of the Glock series of pistols. The Glocks are too expensive to answer this question with those. And the PPQ is basically the same thing. It shoots just as well as the Glocks do. It points just as easily as the Glocks do. And it's just got a slightly more ergonomic handle, which isn't everybody's preference, but it does fit my hand really well. Uh, overall, they're solid, they're durable, they're powered by green gas, and they run great uh, in pretty much all weather conditions as long as you keep them properly lubricated. Uh, and they've just got such a satisfying sound of the slide. Just... Oh, it feels so good. Uh, anyway, let's get on to the next question. So this next question, we're gonna actually hit a two for one. So the number two and the number three questions were, what was the most powerful pistol and what is a gas blowback pistol? Uh, to start about why they're most powerful, it's easier to kind of explain how they work. Gas blowback pistols are pistols that have blowback. So when you pull the trigger, the slide moves back, chambers the next round and keeps going. Uh, as far as what's going to be the most powerful one, a lot of times it's going to be something that's CO2 powered. Now, everything we stock here at the Texas store is designed to be field safe and ready to use. So to that end, you're definitely looking at uh, guns that are 350 or less. Now, you can get guns that are higher power than that, and a lot of times they're going to be CO2 powered. Uh, as far as blowback pistols go, one of the hardest hitting ones we carry in store is going to be this Elite Force 1911. It's the same gun that Duncan recommended uh, for best pistol under 120 bucks. They hit hard, but they still hit field safe, and they recoil like a Mack truck and it feels awesome. So let's hit the next one, shall we? Our next question was, which airsoft pistols look the most realistic? Uh, with those, what you're running into is anything with licensing, really. They try to keep it as true to the form as possible because they're trying to get it as close to the realistic counterpart. That's pretty much what all you need to know. Glocks are really good at it. So our next question from the internet that you guys uh, apparently are asking a lot is, are the airsoft pistols from Academy any good? No. Jokes aside though, actually a lot of the airsoft pistols you find in Academy are the same things you can find on a lot of airsoft retailer websites. And they're a lot cheaper from companies like us uh, as opposed to going to a sporting goods store the markup is way higher. For example, take this non-blowback USP from Elite Force. It's actually a pretty decent pistol. The only thing that kind of sucks about it is you don't get that realistic action. But the benefit to that is the gun's way cheaper. So if you're on a budget, this can be a good option as long as it's field safe. What you have to watch out for is a lot of the non-blowback pistols or unrealistic models that you find from a sporting goods store often are CO2 powered. They're made for plinking and to kind of compete in the same market as an air gun. They're not going to be quite as as uh, safe to shoot at another human being even with the proper protective equipment. Next question was what pistols have the highest velocity? Uh, you would think it's something really nice and big like this KLI High Kappa, but it's actually the KJW Mark I. That gun is so dang powerful, we actually offer it in a carbine kit on airsoftgi.com. So our last question from this round of questions for our Q&A here is what is the biggest difference between a BB pistol or an air gun pistol and an airsoft pistol. And that can be summed up in basically two things. The first one is going to be the ammunition. Most air pistols or BB guns are going to run off a 4.5 millimeter metal pellet uh, or a 1.177 caliber round, where an airsoft pistol is going to be using a six millimeter plastic BB. That's the biggest difference. You can't actually interchange ammo on the two, but the thing that makes airsoft cooler is hop up. So. Your airsoft pistols are a lower velocity with a lower powered round, which means that they're not using raw power to get out to distance like a BB gun does. Instead, we backspin our BBs, which is something that most BB guns and pellet guns, to my knowledge, don't do. Uh, that means that you can still use them in a safe environment where you can shoot at your friends, as long as you're wearing eye protection, and uh, still be able to hit out to some ridiculous distances or do some crazy stuff like full auto with this Beretta M9. It's a full auto CO2 one. It's really awesome. It works very similarly to the way a BB pistol works. However, 
it's got safe velocity to shoot at all of your friends. So uh, with that, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this round of Q&A. We're gonna keep doing more of these as uh, time goes on. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys follow us on social media. If you guys want a little bit more information about some of these questions and see them answered in a little bit more detail, we're actually gonna link a blog post in the description down below that'll give you a little bit more answers. My name's Dave, Duncan's behind the camera. We'll see you guys next time on GITV Uncut.